Hi, this is a question here uh, about composition of functions again, and um, we've got a g of x and an f of x, and it says find the value of x such that the inverse of g of x is f of x, and that looks pretty nasty, and it's quite it looks pretty tricky to get the uh, the inverse function of g. So there is another way. I'm not saying it's the only way, but this is a nice little trick. Um, the first thing is we must remember that if I take the inverse of a number and then I put that back through the function, then I'll always end up with the same number that I started. It could be written this way as well. That's if I put a number through the function and then I put it through the wrong way, I'll, I'll get back the number that I started with. Okay, so this number here is just the same as the one I started with. So, can we use that? The answer is yes. Um, if we start with what they've given us, they tell us that the inverse of g equals f of x. So let's do g of all of that. So I have g of the inverse and g of f. And we've just shown that the left hand side is just equal to x. And then I need to get on with um, doing the right hand side. So that's g of 4x minus 1. And therefore G, x equals um, 4 times 4x four minus 1 divided by 15 minus 4x minus 1. Okay, um, I need to move up to the left-hand side, so I'm just going to keep going over here. So that's going to give me x equals 16x minus 4 divided by 15 minus 4x plus 1, x equals um, 16x minus 4, divided by 16 minus 4x. Um, got to create a bit more space here, so I'm just going to rub this bit out. And keeping going, take the uh, bottom here and multiply it by the other side. So I get 16 minus 4x times x equals 16x minus 4. That gives me 16x minus 4x squared equals 16x minus 4. <clears throat> the 16x is cancel. And the 4s cancel as well. If I divide everything by minus 4, then I get x squared equals 1. So x equals 1. Now, uh, I might be able to try that and show that it works. Um, so we need f of x. So let's just so f of 1 is 3. And g of 3 is going to be 4 times 12, divided by 12. g of 3 is 1, and that means that the inverse of g of 1 is also 3. So those two agree.